What is going on? Diamond Ice here coming at you with my first tutorial of 2018. Today we're going to be looking at exactly what is in your PC. Now we're talking about CPU, RAM, GPU, all those good things. We're going to look at what exactly specifically you have in your system. Now over the past couple months or so when I did all my benchmarking videos, especially one of them being PUBG, a lot of you guys have been commenting on how particularly if your PC can run and odd PUBG for example but the problem is a lot of them in the comments are actually putting in some generic uh kind of generic PC spec so one of them could literally just say core i5 and that doesn't help me for example because I, there are many ge different generations of CPUs that say core i5 so I can't tell if you have a core I, like a second generation or an eighth generation sixth generation all those kinds of things and same thing with GPUs as well all sometimes I can have comments where it's just saying like R9 200 series or GTX series of whatnot. There are multiple generations of GPUs and all those those particular ones in example are just generic ones like there are in a family of GPUs so I can't really pinpoint a particular performance spec to tell you if a particular game can run PUBG or a particular PC can run PUBG. Uh, Gears of War, those are all those kind of all those kinds of games. So today we're going to be looking at a particular uh, about four different programs. One of them is built into Windows, but this one right here, this is called CPU Z. Now, as it states, CPU Z is pretty much giving you a lot of information, uh, particularly about your particular CPU. In this case, being my Ryzen 5 1600, shows the code name, shows what particular socket it type it is, technology, the voltage is going right into your CPU right now, and literally some of the instruction sets etc etc and show you obviously the core speed and whatnot and then if you look here in the uh, bottom right as you can see I have six cores and 12 threads so this one's a very good CPU for what it is it's one of the more val bang for your buck value performance honestly it's really one of the best CPUs I have bought in a long time especially from a and D which I started uh, when I had previously like two generations ago, I had the FX 6300 before, before I switched to a nice core i5 Ivy bridge system. And now I'm back to AMD with the Ryzen system. And honestly, I think it's a good thing in my personal opinion, but as you see here, CPU Z does have other things here. So you can look at the caches of, that, of the particular CPU and which one is actually usable. Main board is basically the motherboard that your CPU is currently uh, socketed upon to right now. So I have the Gigabyte motherboard right here, the AB350M. HD has pretty much all the chipset is showing the BIOS revision, which particular company made the particular BIOS, etc., etc. Uh, memory, you can show you exactly how much memory is in your system. So I have 16 gigs of RAM that is currently running at 2666 uh, megahertz speeds. Now you see here 1333. This is pretty much single uh, the single uh, single speed of a particular stick. But since this is dual channel memory and it's called DDR DDDR that. DDR RAM, this particular ones are called double data rate. So do you double this by two to get the actual speed of your RAM currently? Uh, and you just look at here, some other ones, and you, you can look at the SPD, which is pretty much a, a kind of looks like a expert mode on how to look at exactly what is in your RAM and what particular timings that can be put into the particular RAMs, uh, into the, this particular RAM uh, slot or RAM, uh, RAM that you have as a single piece. And in graphics, you can actually can see exactly what is your particular GPU, in this case being a 980 Ti, performance levels, code names, some of the core and memory slots and things. But uh, for me, I actually use another program for the GPU specifically, and this one is called GPU-Z. Now, GPU-Z is not from the same company who made CPU-Z, even though they're exactly the same, they're different, almost a similar in name. This one's made by the Tech Power Up guys, and it shows a lot of different things, specs, especially on your graphics card. So, as you see here, this is a more in-depth view of GPU of your particular GPU, in this case being my 980 Ti. And as you notice here by sub-vendor, it actually shows that it is from by EVGA. So EVGA is the actual actual person who made this particular GPU based off NVIDIA specs. So what is this called? This is a reference GPU uh, 980 Ti. So in this case, NVIDIA obviously made the GPU, but EVGA put its put the cooler and put some uh, different timings and stuff like that. And there are options on this particular GPU. And it shows you some device ID, the BIOS version, etc. It shows a lot of the memory, shows actually a memory type, which in this case being could be Samsung or Hynix in this case. And 
whatnot. So it shows you a lot of different things that CPU-Z could not show you, especially, for example, the core clocks, the memory speeds, the boosts, etc. Under sensors, you can actually see uh, when you're running here, you can actually show how much particularly you have for your core clock, your temperatures, your fan speed. So currently right now, my 980 Ti is currently at 47 degrees. Now, I do have an additional card, which is the 1050 Ti or 10 GTX 1050, which is currently being used as my encoding for this particular GPU. But as you, that's why you notice that the video engine load is not actually at 100%. It is only about 30% or so. But I've done another video on that on another day but you can go ahead and watch that showing how i use two gpus and using the secondary gpu as an nvnc encoder and look at advanced you can kind of look at the power limits temperature limits etc on this particular one now there is one other program that I, you can download that's called hardware info 64. now this one actually gives you a literally a system-wide overview of exactly what is in your system so regardless of you using uh, gpu z or cpu z or even hardware info for this sakes all of them can actually give you all the particular specs of this particular pc that are of your particular PC, so CPU, GPU, RAM, all those kinds of things. This one obviously even adding in the hard drives, what Windows operating system you're currently running, the BIOS versions, timings, all those kinds of things. This is just more of an overall overall look of what is exactly in your system. And it is very useful to the point where you can see exactly what is in your system. So for example, if people are asking what exactly is your PC specs to help you, let's say if you can run a particular game, PUBG is an example, Gears of War, uh, all those kinds of things. One thing to note is uh, you need to find the DirectX level of your particular GPU. Now, sometimes the direct the DirectX level of your GPU will actually indicate exactly what particular games you can run, especially in the Windows Store uh, especially in the Windows Store currently in Windows 10. Now, those ones are DirectX 12 titles only, and they actually have to know that if you're DirectX level of your particular GPU in order for you to even run those games. So, if, example, in graphics card and GPU-Z, you can notice that it actually shows you DirectX 12 support as 12, as in DirectX level support as number 12. Now, DirectX 12 is only available on Windows 10, so it's uh, you got to be wary about that too. So if you're currently on Windows 7, you will not have support for DirectX 12, even if the card does support DirectX 12. That's another thing that I have noticed a lot of other people having problems with, especially in my Gears of War 4 and as well as my Forza Horizon 3 benchmarking videos, that they cannot run the game because the GPU is either too old and doesn't support DirectX, DirectX 12, or they're not even running Windows 10 at this point. Now, showing these programs, they are nice, but you do still have to download them. There is one other program that you can use that is actually built into Windows, and it's called the DirectX Diagnostic Tool. Now, this diagnostic tool is literally a command that you can find inside the Windows Start menu. So go ahead and use your Start, med start Menu button. Go ahead and just literally put D-X-D-I-A-G. This is called the DIA, DXDAG is what I usually call it, but you know, it's, it's literally just a command and it pops up with this particular window. This window shows you exactly the DirectX level, the CPU, RAM, all those kinds of things. So, and then as you notice here, you have a lot more tabs. You can just literally just go ahead and circle through exactly what you particularly have. So in this case, it shows you my 980, 980 Ti, which one, how much memory it has, uh, total memory, how much VRAM memory, what particular resolution, and what particular monitor it is currently on. And it is very useful to know exactly what is in your PC sometimes. So, And all these four programs are very, very useful, but if you want to stick to the basics, you can go ahead and just put in the DXD and it will actually tell you exactly what is in your PC. And it shows you specifically what particular ones you uh, are in your actual PC. So it actually helps you out for benchmarking. You can actually help out people who want to tell you exactly if this particular PC can run a particular game and whatnot. So... This is a very, uh, very interesting tutorial, but it's also something that a lot of other people have have similar struggles, especially if you're getting started with PC gaming. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. If you still have any other problems, make sure you hit the comment section down below or hit me up at Twitter at Diamond Rice. So I have to, I have to head out, so I will see you soon. Later. <laughs>